Excellent. All right. So now I am going to show you how to so, uh, strip the wires, do soldering, and then uh, do heat shrink tubing on the soldered wire. So first, I am going to strip this wire. So initially, let us say there is a bad segment of the wire which you want to cut off. So use this end portion of the stripper. So put the wire like this like this and then cut it off then when you want to strip it put the wire in this middle diamond shaped segment at an angle uh, press it you are going to uh, sense the plastic being cut and uh, you reaching the wire and then you pull on it in order to take out the metal so this is a single strand wire so i'm going to connect this to the red wire so this also i'm going to strip so again diamond shaped region press till you reach the metal pull out the pull out the plastic once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to twist these wires okay so i'm going to twist these wires fine so I have twisted it. If I am going to pull hard on it, of course it's going to come out. It's not joined or anything. It's just mechanically entrapped. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the solder at the joint. So for that, I'm going to use this soldering iron. So first, there is a power button at the back. I turn this on. Once I turn on the power button, you can see the machine getting turned on. So machine getting turned on next let's use the solder option over here so once you have pressed the solder option the solder light glows and so this is the temperature of the soldering iron so it's very rapidly rising so what it is measuring is the temperature of this particular tip so over here not sure what the temperature has been set to let's see where it stops so it has stopped at 300 degrees celsius now <laughs> in order to do the soldering so this is the soldering wire that we are going to use there is some flux built into the wire so what i am going to do is is basically touch the wire on the soldering iron and you can see the solder melting and a droplet of solder basically forming at the tip you can see the nice metallic ball on the tip then what i am going to do is wherever i want to insert the solder i am going to just touch it over there so the solder is going to get transferred at that particular location i need more metal so i am going to repeat this activity keep your fingers away from the soldering iron and away from the metal so here you go i'm going to transfer this metal over here so the metal is getting transferred all right so a good part of it has gotten transferred i'll do it one more time and then i'll stop so you can see you can see the Solder. All right, I think it's enough now. It's enough. All right. So when it falls down, you can see a ball kind of a thing forms. We are uh, working on an asbestos sheet, so it's not going to damage the sheet. So I'll just once you are done with soldering, put the iron back into the holder and then turn it off. All right, because. Uh, Unless you are going to turn it off, the soldering iron is going to be hot. So next what I am going to do is I am going to take this heat shrink tube. So this black looking tube is the heat shrink tube. I am going to cut a part of it. So I am going to cut this much. Then I am going to put it over the wire which I have just soldered. And then I'll put it over the joint. Be careful. 
if you pull too hard at this stage it's going to come up now we are going to blow hot air over it in order to do that i'll use this rework option which is going to generate hot air so now you can see that rework light is on let me check this so now hot air is coming out of it i can sense the heat on my hand okay so this is it air is definitely not at 300 degrees celsius even though this shows 299 the um, the coil temperature is hot the air is probably at about 60 70 degrees celsius all right so let's do this now so next what we are going to do is fine let me sort of give myself more cable to work with all right so i have now more wire to work with so now just blow this hot air over the heat shrink tube and see what happens so you can see the heat shrink tube shrinking in size as i blow the hot air over it and what this is going to do is give me joint strength all right so it's done now so i turn this off the temperature goes down and this goes up now here you go so you now have a very nice joint made over here i'm not pulling it too hard <laughs> i'm afraid i may break it but it can handle a reasonable amount of force acting on it now in order to check whether we have made a good joint or not we are going to use a multimeter so first i'm going to again cut this at this point strip the wire see a wire has come out here i'll do the same thing at this end cut the wire and then strip the wire strip the wire okay all right so now we are going to use the multimeter i'm going to put the multimeter power it on and put it in the continuity come diode mode so let's see so it has to make sound in case this is continuous all right so one and one probe i touch it here i touch over here another probe i touch here so you can hear the sound it means that the joint has been made and well it's now a single strand of wire instead of two separate pieces so you need to do this activity where you are going to learn about cutting stripping of wire twisting soldering putting the heat shrink tube on and then using the rework option in order to shrink the heat shrink tube strip the two ends and check the continuity of the wire so this is the task